Early in 2025, a sensational announcement reverberated through the world of archaeology. Evidence of a vast, previously unknown city had been discovered deep beneath the sands of the Giza Plateau, directly under the imposing Pyramid of Khafre. This monumental finding, if confirmed, promises to be one of the most significant discoveries in Egyptology, potentially rivaling the unearthing of Tutankhamun's tomb in its impact on our understanding of ancient Egypt. The Pyramid of Khafre, the second largest of the iconic trio at Giza, was constructed around 2550 BC during the Fourth Dynasty for the pharaoh of the same name, also known as Chephren. While its slightly steeper angle and elevated location make it appear taller than its more massive neighbor, the Great Pyramid, its internal structure is known to be relatively simple. The premise of a substantial urban settlement lying hidden beneath this ancient wonder offers a revolutionary perspective on the Old Kingdom and the purpose and complexity of the Giza complex. The Pyramid of Khafre stands as a testament to the power and ambition of Pharaoh Khafre, who reigned during a golden age of pyramid construction. As the son of Khufu, the builder of the Great Pyramid, Khafre continued the family's monumental legacy, not only erecting his own impressive pyramid, but also commissioning the enigmatic Great Sphinx. Known to the ancient Greeks as Chephren, Khafre ruled around 2558 to 2532 BC. The construction of his pyramid was an enormous undertaking, utilizing vast quantities of limestone, primarily sourced locally from the Giza Plateau, along with pink granite brought from distant quarries near Aswan for specific elements like the lower casing stones and the lining of the upper descending passage. Theories regarding the workforce involved vary, with some historical accounts suggesting hundreds of thousands of laborers, while modern estimates point to a more skilled and organized workforce, numbering in the tens of thousands. The pyramid's construction likely involved the use of inclined ramps made of brick, earth and sand, along with sledges and levers to move the massive stone blocks into place. The precision achieved in fitting these multi-ton blocks together speaks to the advanced engineering and organizational capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. The known internal structure of the Khafre Pyramid is relatively straightforward compared to the labyrinthine passages of the Great Pyramid. Two entrances on the north side lead to a system of descending and ascending corridors, culminating in a horizontal passage that opens into the burial chamber. The burial chamber itself, carved from a pit in the bedrock, features a gabled roof made of limestone beams and housed a large sarcophagus crafted from solid granite. A smaller, subsidiary chamber also exists to the west of the lower passage, its purpose remaining a subject of scholarly debate. The comparative simplicity of Khafre's internal layout suggests that the primary focus of construction might have extended beyond the tomb itself, hinting at a more complex relationship between the pyramid and its surrounding environment. The discovery of a similar, potentially larger, urban settlement directly beneath the Khafre pyramid would represent an unprecedented find, adding a new dimension to our understanding of the relationship between these royal monuments and the urban landscape of ancient Egypt. The discovery of a city beneath the Khafre pyramid in 2025 would almost certainly be attributed to advancements in non-invasive archaeological scanning and exploration technologies. These techniques allow archaeologists to peer beneath the surface without the destructive impact of traditional excavation. Ground Penetrating Radar GPR, is one such technology that works by emitting radar pulses into the ground and analyzing the reflected signals to identify buried structures and variations in subsurface materials. GPR has been successfully used in Egypt to map archaeological sites and could potentially reveal the outlines and infrastructure of a subterranean city. The discovery of a large Old Kingdom settlement beneath the Khafre Pyramid would hold immense historical, cultural and scientific significance. Historically, it could revolutionize our understanding of the pyramid's purpose, potentially indicating that it served not only as a tomb, but also as a central element within a larger urban complex. Culturally, such a discovery would undoubtedly capture the public imagination, fostering a renewed interest in ancient Egypt and potentially offering new insights into the beliefs, rituals and societal structures of this fascinating civilization. 
Scientifically, the study of a well-preserved Old Kingdom city using modern archaeological techniques would be invaluable, yielding data on urban planning, architecture, diet, health and social organisation that might not be obtainable from other archaeological contexts. The announcement of a vast underground city beneath the Giza pyramids in early 2025, based on radar technology, has already elicited a range of reactions from the archaeological community. While the claims have generated excitement in some quarters, many leading Egyptologists have expressed skepticism. Dr. Zahi Hawass, for instance, dismissed such rumours as baseless fabrications lacking scientific evidence. Professor Lawrence Conyers, a radar expert, also questioned the ability of current technology to penetrate to such depths, suggesting the idea of an underground city is a huge exaggeration. While the existence of a major, previously unknown settlement beneath a major pyramid is considered less likely by many experts, the possibility of smaller undiscovered structures or chambers around the Giza pyramids is generally acknowledged. Past discoveries, such as the hidden corridor in the Great Pyramid revealed by Muon tomography, demonstrate the potential for advanced scanning techniques to uncover previously unknown features. Ultimately, the validity of claims regarding a lost city beneath the Khafre Pyramid will depend on rigorous scientific verification, including peer-reviewed publications and official confirmation from Egyptian archaeological authorities. The process of announcing a major archaeological discovery typically involves several stages to ensure accuracy and responsible dissemination of information. Initial findings are usually followed by further research and verification by the archaeological team. This often includes detailed analysis of the data and preparation of a comprehensive report. Once peer review is complete and the relevant authorities, such as the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, have been informed and have granted their approval, the discovery is often announced through official press conferences and media releases. The timeline from the initial discovery to the public announcement can vary considerably, ranging from months to years, depending on the complexity of the find and the research involved. Ethical considerations play a significant role in this process, emphasizing the need for accurate and responsible reporting, avoiding sensationalism, respecting the cultural heritage of the site, and ensuring proper documentation and preservation of the findings. The Giza Pyramid Complex is part of a vast necropolis that extends across the Giza Plateau, encompassing not only the three main pyramids, but also numerous other structures, including temples, smaller pyramids dedicated to queens, and extensive cemeteries for officials and workers. The Pyramid of Khafre holds a central position within this landscape, situated between the Great Pyramid of Khufu and the Pyramid of Menkaure, with the enigmatic Sphinx standing guard to its east. The plateau itself lies at the edge of the Western Desert, a short distance from the Nile River. In ancient times, the Nile's floodplains would have been closer to the plateau, influencing settlement patterns and facilitating the transportation of the massive stones used to build the pyramids. The discovery of a lost city beneath the Khafre Pyramid would add a significant new layer to our understanding of this already complex and historically rich landscape.